my YouTube fans and family, how y'all doing? It's your boy Officer K Sun back with another tutorial video. How you guys doing? Okay, guys, I know today, uh, I think a few days GTA 5 has is doing an update or is already updated already. And I know some people is complaining about um how to uh back up your game files and how to revert back and stuff like that, guys. Um just like Benzo Effect and um Criminal Justice obviously make sure you back up your game files. Well now this is the time you guys can either back up your game files or if you already backed up your game files, this is the time for y'all to revert back. Alright? Now Really and truly, guys, I'm going to show you guys how you guys can downgrade your game files if you guys can't play it, even if you try to back up your game files, like revert it back and it still don't work, and you guys want to wait a long time for the game to update and stuff like that. I'm going to show you guys how to revert your old game files back and revert back to the previous older version. So you guys can still play LSPDFR until uh, GTA 5 do a new update. But I'm going to show you how to do that, guys. So we're going to get started with this uh, tutorial. Anybody's new to the channel, please hit that like button. Also, smash that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell to stay tuned. And follow my Instagram. The link and everything is going to be in the description and everything, all right? All right, y'all, let's get started. So, I'm only doing this for the Steam users only. Anybody that's, that that has that plays GTA 5 on Steam to navigate to your game, you go to your Steam. Um, Steam is more helpful. I use Steam and stuff to play GTA 5. So, now I know some people, when they press play to launch the game, and when they press it, right, uh... You get this annoying um pop -up right right here, this annoying pop -up right here that says script to a critical error right, and I know it'd be annoying because the reason being everybody's getting that error is because your GTA Five has updated and it's updated in other words, and your script hook V and V dot net. And your rage plug and hook and all that it's old now since your gta 5 has updated so which means that you will have to wait until they update script hook v v.net or really update script hook v and on rage plug and hook but v.net i mean v.net is not really that important uh script hook v and um rage plug and hook is the only two that's important for them to update and um that uh, particular stuff so yeah guys um if that actually messes up guys what we're gonna do is we're gonna go right into our directory all right now a lot of people don't know where the directory is located but if you're on the steam to navigate to your gta 5 directory which is more easier just right click on gta 5 click on properties click on local files and click on browser and it's going to bring you exactly to your uh, location of where your GTA 5 is located. PC, um, your, your C job or whatever, Steam library, Steam apps, Common, and GTA 5, all right? It should look like this. A lot of people, theirs is different and stuff like that. I have a backup copy of GTA 5. I recommend people to create a backup copy just in case. The backup, this is my backup copy of where it's old, so where if I made a mistake or whatever, I could just uh, start over and erase it and create a create a new backup copy and just right click and click copy and it's going to automatically copy it again. So anyway, this is how you navigate to your GTA 5. So we're going to navigate to our raise plug and hook. Click on it, right click it, open it, have you guys uh launch it. Um once it launches and stuff, guys. Like I said, I know y'all might get that stupid uh annoying pop-up that be popping up right there in the middle, right here, and it's saying that you don't want to launch it or whatever, or you said bad antivirus or whatever. That is because 
uh, your GCA five is updated and your script hook and all that is no is no good to use. Now, the people in the past that uh watch tutorial videos, including myself. Um, I gotta say big shout out to uh, Criminal Justice and big shout out to Benzo Effect for showing us. Y'all like y'all like teachers for teaching us how to do this stuff and had it not been for y'all, we wanna learn how to do this stuff on our own. So big shout out to them. And um I'll uh sim put the link in the description so you could guys could check out the uh the uh channel and stuff. But guys, right here as you can see, this is my version, so I'm all straight and everything, guys. I'm going to really show you guys how to, like, downgrade your game version and stuff like that, guys. So you guys want to play LSPDFR. Because sometimes we know the headache of how long it would take for them to update Rage Plug and Hook and Script Hook. So go right here to Revert Game Version File. Sometimes, like, you might have two. If you back up your file... Always make sure you click right here where it says backup game version and it's going to back up, it's going to back it up. Or if the reverted version isn't working, you can always back it up to the current version you had. So as you can see, this is my version. You might have two versions, one that might say unsupported. The unsupported one is the uh, outdated one that's not working or whatever. And the supported one is the, is, is the older, older version or whatever. So... If you have the current one that's not working, that's set unsupported, click on revert back to game file. It might have a box that revert back, and it's gonna revert back to the one that's that's not that's outdated, in other words, and it's gonna revert you back to that old uh older version. Alright. So since I'll show you guys that if it still don't work, guys, is um I'm gonna show you guys the version I'm on uh, for GTA 5. So you right click it, click on properties, and go to details. And as you can see right here, this is the version I'm on 2545. To downgrade it, guys, you wanna click the archive file, click on it, and you're gonna highlight these four right here. You're gonna drag and drop those into your uh, file, drag and drop that in there. Once it finished dragging the drop it, it's gonna click replace. You click replace it and everything. It's gonna replace all this. And then what after that, you're gonna go to your update folder. And then you're gonna click right here where it says update.rpf. And then you're gonna put your update.rpf from this folder and put it in there and drag and drop it and replace it. All right. So after that, guys, you're gonna revert back to your older GTA file. GTA 5 file and stuff like that. Um, another thing I recommend, guys, is if anybody have the older version of your GTA 5, I mean the older version of LSPDFR and the older version of Script Hook V and V.net and all that kind of stuff, make sure you don't delete those. Please don't delete those because that's why I said back up your files. Make sure you save it somewhere on your computer. Or save it anywhere where on your computer so you'll remember where exactly it is because if you ever do like a downgraded if you ever downgrade your game back to like the older version you're gonna definitely need the older version of LSPDFR the older version of Rage Plug and Hook and the older version of Script Hook V V.net um native native UI and raised native UI as well. So you're gonna need all those older versions. So my version I'm on is back at, uh, is from 2021 and stuff like that. So I, I haven't updated my game, even as asked me for updates. So after that guys, we're pretty much done with that guys. I'm gonna go ahead and launch the game and show you guys that it works with me. Oh, and make sure that your antivirus, I recommend people all the time. I tell people this all the time. If you get something like when you launch Race Plug and Hook and Race Plug and Hook said antivirus uh, bad uh, version, anti all that crap or whatever, make sure that your uh, virus threat protection is turned off. Make sure you have it turned off. 
All right, you don't want it to prevent uh no, you don't want it to stop Rage Plug and Hood from launching. All right, make sure that's turned off. All right. So after that, guys, you're gonna go ahead and launch the game. Um, I'm gonna launch it, launch the game first, cause I have uh Natural Visions Evolved installed. And after that, once I uh launch it, I'm gonna uh alt tab out and launch Rage Plug and Hook and show you guys that the game actually works. Okay. So let's hop right back into it. I'm gonna show you guys that it works, okay? As you can see, guys, that's the version is working. It said 2.5 at the uh, bottom right. So I'm gonna alt tab back out and then I'm gonna launch Rage Plug and Hood, guys. Launch it. And as you can see, guys, Rage Plug and Hook was successful. It has launched the game and everything, as you guys can see. See how it's showing it down, guys? Yeah, my computer's so slow. I apologize for that. But yes, guys, um, that is exactly how you guys uh, downgrade your game version, guys. How to revert back to, like, the older version and how you're able to play it. Now you're able to play LSPFR whenever you want, when you want. So... Until uh, Script Hook and until uh, Rockstar finish up their little updates on the game or whatever. Until Script Hook V updates and all that kind of stuff. You're able to, for the meantime, you're able to play LSPDFR on a game, on an older game version. All right. So that is pretty much it, guys. That's how you do it. Um, thank you for watching this tutorial, guys. I appreciate you guys um for watching this tutorial and from learning guys um i try to do the best i can with some of these tutorials i mean i'm not as good as like explaining details of it but i'll try to do the best i can guys to like explain it and to show you guys how to do it step by step i'm not really the best but i try you know but uh guys um like I said, stay tuned for more episodes. Stay tuned for more tutorials, guys. Um, dropping my birthday episode. Definitely dropping my birthday episode right now. I'm doing some editing on it. Um, from the standpoint of what everybody is saying, it's been confirmed that my birthday episode is going to be the Nuance Police Department Jump Out Boys episode. So that's the episode I'm working on. It's going to be the Jump Out Boys. So... That's pretty much it, guys. Um, I'll see you guys in the next episode, next tutorial, guys. Y'all be safe. And I hope that this tutorial uh help you out. Like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more. Peace out, guys.